Abstract Amber here. Um, today we're gonna do some coasters. I've got this fun little form, silicone form, and I have some fun colors that we're gonna go ahead and try. I've, I'm gonna kind of do a peacock inspired look. I recently ordered some stuff from Laura's Art Corner. Thank you, Laura. And she threw in this amazing peacock sparkle holographic glitter. So I've been dying to use it and I decided why not? We'll give it a try. So we are going to do that peacock inspired look on the coasters. I haven't done that before so we'll see how it goes. We're going to use the pure pearl white black diamond, a little bit of gold, pure gold, iridescent blue, deep blue sea, and some emerald green. These, like I said, are all black diamond colors and Laura's art corners glitter. And we're gonna use our resin. I don't know if I'm going to use little stones in it or not. I've got some little crushed glass. We'll see, we'll see how it goes never sure until you get into it what all you want to do so i hope you enjoy this little step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do these coasters all right so we're going to go ahead and get started here let me gather these little buggers up um we don't need these but look so pretty here i'm going to open it up so you can see what it looks like in there it's amazing amazing Okay, so when we're mixing our resin, we always want to put the hardener in first. So put in the hardener, scrape it all out of your cup. Once you get all your hardener out, then you want to add in the epoxy part. And these are equal parts. I am using Pro Marine today. Um, and they're equal parts. Go ahead and get your epoxy part all in. Some call them like part A, some call them part B. Um, regardless they have two things that need to go in together some you have a different ratio so you always want to read your directions and here this one's my equal parts so make sure you get it all out because you want to have everything equal in there if you have too much epoxy in there it's not going to set up as well it's going to be more gummy if you have too much hardener in there it's going to set up quick and you don't want it to set up that quick so we're going to go ahead and just mix this up for three full minutes and you want to scrape your sides when you're mixing just make sure you mix really really well and scrape the bottom of your cup as well and all the sides for three full minutes here I'm adding my glitter first in the center. It's, everything's just kind of on a sped up motion here because I wanted to whip through it so it's not an incredibly long video. So you just want to remember that when you're laying out your resin, it is going to disperse approximately twice as wide as what the lay, uh, the width you put down I guess so to say so just remember leave a little space in between um okay so we put down our blue we put down our green we put down our iridescent blue and we're adding in our highlights of um some gold and white here soon so we're gonna just add that white right down in there it's gonna give us a nice little bit of a glow that we'll pull through later 
and the highlights are important too because you don't want the color to be too overwhelming all the way throughout so if you add a little bit of the white it's going to add some highlight now here we're adding some gold as a nice gold highlight same thing kind of drizzling it in we're just wiggling it in just wiggle 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 and we're going to try to do thin lines of it because like I said it's just a highlight it's not going to be a main color we're adding in some more blue on the edges to kind of thicken that up a little bit so we have some heaviness we added some glitter to the edge of the blue too now I'm adding in the rest of the clear and I'm just kind of filtering it throughout I decided to swipe my popsicle stick through it and I'm just gently dragging it through to give it some variation. And I'm just going really gentle in here. I'm not pressing super hard. It's just like a gentle little swipe in there. It's nothing heavy duty. It's enough just to kind of pull these colors through and blend them out a little bit and give them some interest here. So I'm going to add my little torch. I'm going to have to be really super careful because this is silicone. So if we want to pop our bubbles, but we want to be careful we don't melt. It's pretty freaking awesome. So I cannot wait to see these tomorrow. I think they're going to be pretty because they're awfully pretty now. So I can't wait to see what the underside is going to look like. All right. So we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to cover it. I have these, ooh, thunder here outside. So we have these little tents that go over my projects. They're like a mesh and it's gonna help keep any debris, dust, debris, any pet hair that might be in your air. And it's gonna just keep it out. So I'm just kind of cleaning up these edges. I'll just a little smidge. And I found that the Lysol wipes, see there's a hair in there. I should look a crazy person. So the Lysol or Clorox, whatever brand you are using, these wipes work wonders with resin and helping clean up like resin messes and stuff. So it's been a freaking pain in the rear end try to get any because people have thought they had to go crazy and buy every single thing in the planet. Luckily, my daughter went to the store a little bit ago and she found some just today. So I was pretty excited about that. I cannot wait to see these tomorrow. So freaking out a little bit here because I hate waiting. I hate waiting. Fun part about resin, it just will continue to blend a little bit more and it will get very interesting. And when you see the underside, the underside will look different than this side. So there we have it. Now we wait till tomorrow, people. I'm not putting any stones in it. I had got some out. Um, not doing it because I really, really like where it's at. And sometimes you can really overdo things. And the other thing with uh, coasters, you have to be careful with the stones is, there's a, a lot of times the coasters are kind of shallow and if you put stones in it, it can pop it up too high. And you don't want your stones to be above. You want your coasters to be nice and flat. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna put them in today. Okay, so I'm so excited to look at these tomorrow. I can't hardly wait. But we will wait and we'll unveil them together. And you will get to see them at the same time I do. Unfortunately, I have to work. So I have to work in the morning. 
but when I get home from work, I'm going to come peel these babies out of there, and we're going to check it out. So, until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, please subscribe, and hit the bell, and hit the like. The bell will make sure you're notified as soon as I put up another video, which I'm trying to put up about three a week, so there's that. Thank you very much. Please share. Okay, hello, hello. Um, these have sat all night and I'm getting ready to open them up. So, let's just kind of take a look at what they look like. Okay, here's this one. Oh, that's really pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, these are very pretty. Okay. And let's see here. Oh yeah, those are really pretty. So, I really like the peacock look here. Um, and then I am going to, you know, do the edges in my gold paint um, pen here. So, once I get those done, I will show you again what they look like. Well, we'll see when I um, put the gold on them tomorrow or later tonight. We'll see what happens. Anyways, so happy with these little peacock inspired coasters. They're adorable. We'll get some gold on them and see how they look then. All right. Hope y'all are happy with it. I know I am. And here's our finished product with our gold edges from the gold pen. They turned out absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. They completely look like a peacock feather to me. So I'm very happy with these results. I hope you are as well. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.